You know why I asked you down here? No, sir. This is Jules. Child, did you see growing up hip hop? I said, Sa, Sa, that conversation is too late that we having. Okay, you should have been had that conversation when Sam met Egypt in the beginning. Okay, now they wait for a baby to be on the way to have a serious conversation of Sam taking on responsibility and providing for his family. I blame Tretch and Pepper for creating a monster. Cause y'all allowed Sam to ride the money train and never held him responsible when the outside people was complaining about how he was a leech. And I said, that's what Sam is, a leech, honey. And as a parent, I'll be ashamed. My son became leeching off of other people and not providing and not contributing to anything. Do you understand, Tretch, you is your fault. Because see, as a father, you should have standards. Do you understand me? This man should have had fear in his heart. When he approached you, he should have had a plan for your daughter. Because ain't no man or no woman going to be able to approach my kid without a plan. Because first of all, as a parent, I'll be like, what is your intent with my child? Are y'all just dating? Are you planning to marry her? Are you planning to give her a baby after marriage? This should have been talked about. You don't wait until a baby come to have to talk about this. That conversation with Tretch, Sam did feel small. He like, how dare you? You allow me to play in your face and leech off y'all this long. Now you want to come down on me? He didn't like that. He didn't like that. You know, I never ever step in between you and Egypt at all. He did not like that. And you know why Sam didn't like that? Because he couldn't throw a tantrum like he do other people when they keep calling him a user, okay? He couldn't throw that tangent with Tretch because Tretch would have put paws on that fool. You understand? Tretch is not the one to be played with, but I blame you because you allow him to carry on with this foolishness for so long. It is you and Peppa Buck. Y'all created a leech monster, and now he like, he going to continue to leech. He's like, I've been leeching for this long. Why well, I'm not going to continue to leech? And I'm like, how many kids you got? How they going to want him to have a plan for this baby if he wasn't taking care of his other two? Y'all know he was not taking care of his other two because his baby mama came on it on one of those seasons. You understand? Saying how he was this, not taking care of his children. So you think now that he's married to your Egypt, your daughter. You understand me? At the end of the day, that he is going to take care of your grandbaby, even though he didn't take care of the other two? <laughs> Y'all people funny. Y'all funny, okay? So, Egypt is going to find out the hard way. Because she ride for this man. The viewers can complain about sin. The baby mama told her about sin. And I said, Egypt is stubborn. She is a stubborn Jamaican, okay? She is a stubborn Jamaican. Because she is the one trying to prove other people wrong. Knowing that we right. To make her so. Look like she know what she doing. And in reality. He's just going to need some help. It's going to hurt her the most. Because when she have that baby. She going to be overwhelmed. Because Sam ain't going to do nothing. But sit on his behind. But the same way he sat on his behind for six years. He going to continue to sit on his behind. For another more six years. She, she going to get tired of saying because she going to feel overwhelmed. She going to be stuck with that baby, be in the house all the time, and Sam ain't going to help out with her, with that baby. And then she, it's going to hit her one day. She going to wake up. She going to be like, the viewers was right. The viewers was right because she trying to prove us wrong. Ha! <laughs> but this was not the way to go. But congratulations on the baby, though. Babies are precious, honey. And that baby gonna grow up and say, Google Gaga, my father is a bum. Start when that baby start growing and, and start opening his eyes and seeing that the father ain't doing nothing and provided, it's gonna have resentment to what saying. That baby gonna have resentment. I'm like, Egypt, it was your fault because you should have never laid down with him. What they say, you lay down with dogs, you get fleas. That's what they say. It's true. And then Sam is having a conversation. With um Tyrion, okay. 
Tyrion talking about, oh, you need to talk to Trish. I've been doing this I, for six years, and you don't see no results. I said, Sam haven't been doing nothing for six years. Six years. And what kind of income he has brought besides the show? I heard these shows don't pay like that. <laughs> they don't pay. Like, I don't know how much they pay. I've never been on the show. But let me tell you, I heard these shows don't pay like that. So what other income do he have to bring in to support Egypt and the family? He was like, oh, I, we just bought a house. Didn't you buy a house before and had to move in with Pepper? He was like, oh, we, we don't ask Tretch for nothing because Tretch ain't having that. He's not going to take care of you. I said Pepper and Tretch baby this boy. They baby him. You cannot baby a boy and expect him to be a man. Do you understand me? They should have been tough on him. They should have been setting goals and him meeting those damn goals to make him prove that he was a real man. That's just my opinion. Some people might not agree. I don't know how you would have handled it, but that would have been me. I would have been setting goals. I'd be like, by this deadline, you got to have a job. What kind of job you going to have to provide, to pay bills? I'm like, this is life, honey. Bills exist. So, this world is tough. But if you keep babying these children, they will never learn responsibility. And at the end of the day, I thought Brie and Twisting was so cute. I said, I love this Twist. Twist seemed like he's healthy. He's better. And he's better taking care of himself. I actually like the black dreads without the, the blonde. And I love to see his teeth. And I said, Twist is actually cute. He's actually a cute guy. <laughs> Twist is actually an attractive guy. You can't really tell because he always covering up. He always got something on, covering his face and stuff with something. <laughs> I said, he's funny though. I like Twist. But what I didn't like is how that he tried to put the blame on the ex-girlfriend on the reason why that they broke up. Talking about she ripped his heart out. I'm glad he corrected it. He said, nah, I cheated. I like that's how a lot of relationships ended. Okay? And I agree with the advice that Brianna gave. Any strong woman ain't going to put up with that behavior. Do you understand? I'm glad the ex-girlfriend left him. Okay? I like Twist, but he's going to have to get that together if he want to be in a relationship. You can't just be going around cheating on people. It happens, but at the end of the day, I'm glad he corrected himself. Now, that underwear thing, I don't know what's up with that. That's just weird in my book. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's just weird. What? Like, why are you sniffing people underwear? Ew. <laughs> okay, what else? Sequoia has an issue with her mama. I with Sequoia on it was a lot of people think Sequoia want to sleep with um lazy but I don't think that's the case I think Sequoia mama tiny is actually in the wrong in this case because look how she moving I like if you on your grown woman stuff you gonna be honest okay and it's like she hiding information and stuff from her daughter not having a conversation if you a mother and daughter and y'all have that type of relationship, you're going to be like, hey, me and your father is still married, but I am dating lazy. She would have told and had that conversation from the beginning. And I don't like how Tiny is moving. I'm sorry. I don't like how she's moving because when Sequoia came in and Tiny and Lazy was like, on the couch and like playing with each other. Look how she just straightened up. That's like somebody that's guilty of hiding something. That's just my opinion. And at the end of the day, Tiny is in the wrong because, lady, you are still married. That is adultery. And anybody who is married and messing with other people, that is adultery. Okay? So before you mess with somebody else, okay, y'all need to get that divorce settled. Before you start messing with other people, that's adultery. Nobody don't look at it like that. I guess they don't look at it like that no more. I'm just saying it's adultery, okay? And and I'm with Sequoia. I would have shut that relationship down. I like, what do you think you're doing? You're still married to my father, so you think you could flaunt your side piece in front of my face? Late, late, late. With me and my mama would have had issues. Cause we would have had to have a conversation. I'm like, first of all, you hiding the information from me. You're not telling me anything. And you moving, like, kind of funny. That's just me. That's just me. I don't know. But, so, so, Cree was definitely wrong. 
I don't know who said hi to who, but I really don't know who speak. I saw this scene, but at the end of the day, Creed was poking Brianna. Brianna walked away, and then Brianna said, not in my birthday, mom. I was like, first of all, that's Jesse Wu. She be saying that. <laughs> Jesse Wu be saying, not in my birthday, mom. Not in my birthday, mom. She got that from Jesse Wu, boo. At the end of the day, and Brianna had every right to come back at you. And I think Brianna is beautiful with her freckles. And I'm glad she don't hide them. And, and Shakoya was being shady, okay? Just being shady. Because she like, oh, um, where's all the event planning? First of all, everybody is different. Everybody don't like to talk about what they do, okay? Everybody don't like to talk about what they do for a living. And a lot of people don't like to broadcast their wealth. I don't know what Creed do is none of my business. Long as she not asking me for money at the end of the day. I respect people who take care of themselves. You understand me? And they not going around begging people for money. And stuff like that. I respect people who get their hustle and get their money legit, okay? And it don't seem like Cree is bothering nobody, harassing nobody for money. Y'all see nobody calling the show, oh, Cree be borrowing money for me. Oh, so clearly she got some kind of business. What it is, we don't know. At the end of the day. <laughs> and if she's Jamaican, Jamaicans have a lot of businesses, Okay? They always talk about their businesses and stuff and what they do. Maybe she's one who don't like to brag about what she do or where she get her money from. That's how people get robbed, talking about their money. Anybody who got wealth don't need to brag about it, period. And T, it's sad that T.T. had to find out this way that Egypt is pregnant. But let me tell you, it might bring them closer together. Because Egypt might be the one to pick up the phone and say, hey, this is what I'm going through. With this man saying, and she gonna get tired, and she gonna want somebody to talk to besides um Pepper and Trench, <laughs> and then she gonna might let me tell you, she gonna want a babysitter, cause she gonna want to go out, and she might drop her baby off at TT house, cause let me tell you, babysitter is expensive, and she be like, hey, a great cousin. I'm sorry, I don't know what TT is, uh, cousin. I said the baby, I said Egypt baby might be what TT and Egypt need to bring them back together. That's just my opinion. I don't know if it will or not. Because Egypt is going to get tired of seeing. She going to be doing all the work, taking care of that baby, stuck in the house, not able to go nowhere. And she's going to want to talk to somebody to give her advice. I don't know if she's going to take it, her advice because you know Egypt is stubborn. Trying to prove everybody wrong and she just going down a deeper hole of disaster and it's not looking good not looking great i actually like tt's husband sean but i do believe he did cheat on tt because let me tell you when he had that bachelor party i never seen somebody run like that <laughs> i think sean is a dude who like black girls he like that flavor honey he like that chocolate you understand me and T.T. put a lead <laughs> on Sean and reined him in on how to behave and put away those cheating ways. Do you want to see me? T.T. was not playing. She's like, because you cheated, I'm not losing the best thing, the best provider. Okay? Okay? Let me tell you, Sean provide for his. But Sam, do not. Do you understand? Please like, comment, subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day. Yay.